yeah, there was a story about what's going on with mortgages in China. They're in, uh, they're in some interesting uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, situation right now. By the way, I think they just bought like 300 acres in South Dakota, and DeSantis is not having it. DeSantis is like sitting saying, hey, what are you doing buying all, all the right. farmland in America? And he's, saying, he's calling a huge problem. Let me tell you, that concerns me way more than what's happening with this China banking situation. We covered the story a couple of years ago with this Evergrande. I never even heard of them prior to this, but... You know, they've over leveraged and they've built up crazy amounts of construction and a lot of Chinese citizens have bought pre-construction and, and, you know, crazy debt. And there's all this stuff going on in China. I don't really give two shits about Chinese real estate. I care about American real estate. Okay, I care about if China is buying up U.S. farmland and DeSantis is calling out. Now you're talking to me, okay? Because I doubt many Americans are waking up. Many, most Americans are waking up trying to pay their own fucking rent and their own mortgage. I got to be worried about what's going on in China now. Well, let me tell you why. It's Don't important. give two shit. I, I get it from the macro economy. No, no, no. But most Americans no. are more focused on their real estate. Yeah. So when DeSantis calls out what's going on in China, like sure. we talked about um, schools, Texas A&M, for an example, takes money from Confucius Institutes so they can teach Chinese doctrine, uh, indoctrinization mm-hmm. to students mm-hmm. and take their money. Harvard's done this, like. That, to me, is way more of an issue when China is taking their money and their soft power and bringing it to the United States. Whatever happens to China, I get it. There's a real estate situation going on. Figure it out, guys. Well, the only reason you you do see what's going on with China is the same way when you're buying a house, you do comps to see how much houses around your community are selling for. Mm-hmm. And if you're a rifle a coffee company and you want to know what your company is worth, and you go to someone that's doing valuation, they're gonna do comps to see what other coffee companies your size are selling for with the EBITDA, revenue, markets, states, countries, where mm-hmm. you're at. It's the same way we have to see what's going on in China's real estate market and loans because that's a case study to see what could potentially happen to the American economy. That's the only reason we would look at what's going on over there because uh, it's a scary side. They're having a they're having a rough situation over there. China's home buyers are running out of patience with the real estate slump last week, a spike in reported numbers of home buyers. Halting mortgage payments prompted many banks to announce their low exposure to such loans across banks uh, covered by Goldman Sachs. Average exposure to property, including mortgages, was just 17%. If more home buyers refused to pay their mortgages, the poor sentiment would reduce demand and theoretically prices in a vicious cycle. So th- these, these are the reasons why you do pay attention to some of this stuff. But going back mm-hmm. to your point, you're right. Why are these guys buying up all this land? Okay, why, why, by the way, one of the places they bought, they bought 300 acres of land in North Dakota 20 minutes from a military base. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, you have to ask a motive. Yeah. Yeah, why? Yeah, why are you buying it near a military base 20 minutes away? Did Bill Gates buy up a crap ton of land? Well, he's yeah. the biggest landowner yeah. for farmland. Well, in the, yeah, in, now, by the way, I'm way more okay with Bill Gates owning land in, in the United States than China, the CCP. I mean, what are we talking about here? When no, you yeah. compare this to the article that just came out about they're interfering with nuclear weapons and how they were installing listening devices the question isn't why are they doing it the question is why are we allowing it to happen good why is the government not stepping in and saying no not a fucking chance we're gonna (laughs) live like this is this is absurd 20 miles from an air base of course they're gonna install listening devices the question isn't why it's why is it happening or what excuse me why are we letting it happen i guess the question would be what is the law against the country buying land in another country what is the law DeSantis well, says he wants to make it a state law in okay. Florida. So, so meaning if there isn't a law mm-hmm. of doing that, well, then you need to create a law. Years ago, when Trump was uncomfortable with Huawei's daughter that was going around talking to Iran and she was in Canada, I don't know if you remember, if you remember that whole scandal, and Huawei was a number two or number three phone company in the world, what did he say? He said, you can't do Huawei in the U.S. And Huawei took a massive hit. Huawei was coming up in America. Mm-hmm. Huawei took a massive hit. If, if this is what is going on, the president has the ability to sanction anyone from China buying agriculture or land in the U.S. Mm-hmm. They could do that. They can add those sanctions on Chinese investors. That is simply one announcement right. for him yeah. to make. Well, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Chinese investors, they're not coming out and saying, hi, I'm here on behalf of the CCP and I'd like to buy some farmland. It's some guy named whatever. Or TikTok. Or, or <laughs> yeah. That's a whole other yeah, conversation China, with White Dance. China has but no- it could be just a Chinese investor. There's nothing illegal about a guy who's showing up and buying some property. That, but you know that if a guy shows up with a couple billion bucks from China, it's like, Who's really pulling the strings there, right? That's the only question. There's nothing, there's nothing illegal about a guy buying property or a corporation buying property. It's just 
how far removed are they from the CCP? Well, my assumption is not far. China has no problem you know, saying every day who their enemy is. It's us, right? For some reason, we just can't say that and admit it. So I think we just we should assume anything they do is to harm us. Yeah. If they're coming here to buy five acres of farmland, you know, hang out, plant 5G, whatever, they're out to get us. Pat, we've been talking about China for a few years now, at least you know, on the podcast right now. Do you think we haven't realized what China is about to do? Like, is there still people in the government? Is the citizens are the citizens of the United States still unaware of what China is doing? I feel like it's out there, right? It's probably it's out there, but a lot of people are like, "Oh, get over it!" Kind of just what you know, is that turn, even? Turn get over eye. what? Well, you know, it's just turned a blind eye. I think because it's easier to to not care than it is to care. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.